Hello everyone. Um, I will be starting to make a tutorial for Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition. And today, um, your first tutorial will be on simple text with a um, CMD program, command prompt. When you go into your Visual C++, um, you're just going to want to hit New Project. A Win32 console application. Let's name this one Hello World because that's what we will be putting into the CMD. Oops, it already exists. Hello World YouTube. Alright, just put in Hello World, I put in YouTube so it doesn't, you know, already have it there. So Name it an empty project and then hit finish. When you have created your project, right click on source, files, Add new item, a C++ item, and name it Hello World. Okay, when you are in the text box for the code, at the beginning of everything, you're always want to gonna impound, include, and then a dash thing, IO stream. That is a key thing to make everything a lot easier. We're also going to pound, include, Conio dot h. I will explain what this means at the end. Now we're going to put using name space std. <laughs> yeah, funny. And then a semicolon. And then I put int main semicolon. So right now, these are all all of our includes to make our project a lot easier. Actually, this is a squiggly line, but... Yeah, so let's get on our code. Int main... I'm not exactly sure why you put that there, but you just do. So, we're going to type in cout, and then these lines. Cout mean is what um, the program is going to say. It's what the CM... It's what's going to say in the CMD program. So, you're going to put um, quotation marks and put hello world and then end the quotation mark and you can do this again and then hit ENDL which stands for end line and then semicolon but you don't need to because you're only just going to say hello world so we're just going to put a semicolon and so we have to close the bracket when you close the bracket and you run it it's just going to flash out and just go away right away. So, what you're going to want to do is put an underscore get and then a ch and then um, a parenthesis with nothing in it and then a semicolon because that's what you have to have basically after everything. What this does means get character, which comes from Kanio. See, if we didn't have this Kanio.h here, this is going to get underlined. So when we put in Kanio dot h, it lets us use dot get. See, because we have to include it. So when we run it, you will have hello world, and you will have done your CMD project. Um, another thing you can do instead of underscore get, we can just take out this for a minus include, and we can just put get char, and then these things. And it will still work. So that um, that's basically the first tutorial. Um, I have seen many tutorials where there's there's like lines down to like here to just type in hello world. This is basically like the simplest thing I've ever found and I've done. So yeah, well that's it. <laughs>